Hi all, welcome back to Soccer Perspective Individual Training. Today's focus is going to be midfielder training and this is part one. There will be a part two covering other aspects of midfielder training. To start off, we're going to start with one of my favorite drills and this is focusing on those tiny little touches that a midfielder takes when he's under pressure in the middle of the park and one of the things that a lot of midfielders are known for is for their ability to dribble out of tight spaces, into space, at speed, and numerous other ways. So here, um, we're focusing on really moving both feet and making sure we don't touch any of the cones. And we're doing this about for 30 seconds to 45 seconds, even a minute, I did about 45 seconds in this rep. I'm showing you guys a second example of the same drill because I want you to see that it's okay if you make mistakes while dribbling here. And the faster you move, the more difficult it's going to be moving around those cones. But that means that you're also getting better. So I'm using all parts of my foot here. You guys see, I'm, sometimes I step on the ball, sometimes I pull it behind me, I use the inside of my foot, sometimes I push it with the outside of my foot, and I also like to use my left here, like I previously stated. Then we have the same thing, the Ronaldinho to cone weave, and essentially we're just dribbling through a cluster of cones again, and then we're gonna do a quick weave between four cones. And if you like, you can add a shooting component, you can, ask, you can add a passing component. In this case, I used the shooting component. Then we have a first touch box. And I set up four cones, I'm gonna say about two to five yards wide. And essentially what I'm doing here is just hitting it up couple of feet nothing too high and then I use multiple parts of my foot to control it but what I want to do is either push it to the right or push it to the left go backwards or go forward and that the reason why one should do this drill is because a lot of times in the midfield you will find yourself having to take a directional touch into the area that there's space, whether that's your right, whether that's your left, in front of you or behind you, but you will be forced to take touches and move the ball into spaces while you have pressure on you. So here I'm demonstrating that I'm using the top of my foot because I find that that's one of the most comfortable, but if I'm going to the side, I'm either gonna use the outside of my foot or the inside of my foot depending but here we're training we're training all kinds of first touches but the point here is to really get that ball down nice and under control so that when you're in the game you're able to dribble while pushing the ball forward backwards or to the side and for the purpose of this drill i'm showing you guys a lot of examples because i'm not trying to stick to one specific in terms of reps and sets, what I would suggest is doing 10 to 15 sets of four reps, meaning all four directions. And if you want to make it a little more difficult and more game realistic, what I would suggest is checking your shoulder behind, looking to your right, looking to your left and in front of you as the ball is in the air so that when you're in the game, this becomes subconscious and automatic and you are able to make a better decision on the ball because the more information you have about your surroundings in the game the better decision you will make as a player So this next drill is called the talent in and of diamond drill. 
And for those of you that don't know what that is, um, Talent Ain't Enough is a sort of curriculum or training guide um, developed by this trainer named Jane Velocity. I was described to it a number of years ago. And a lot of the top uh, professional players, including like Jack Grealish, when he was playing for Aston Villa, were part of this. And a lot of these players were sh showing, up, showing us these drills. So I got this drill, and it's a, I believe it's a great drill for developing that engine that all midfielders are known. When you think about the modern midfielder, they cover great amounts of distance, like players like Modric. So what you want to do here is set up three balls, right? And you're going to start with a diamond where you start on the opposite side of the ball. And what you do is you sprint to the either right or left, right? And then you shuffle. You can do different kinds of shuffle or quick feet variations. You cut again, you go collect the ball, you bring it, you bring it back, you carry the ball and dribble it around the first cone, you cut, then you weave through the cones. And again, I'm gonna show you guys different variations of the shuffling, but also the dribbling around the cones. You cut one more time, and then you drop off the ball, and to finish it off, you sprint back to the spot where you collected all the balls from and what you want to do is about three to five sets of three to five balls so in the case of of this rep I, like i previously stated we have the first variation again i sprint right to the first cone and i'm here i'm shuffling backwards cut across the next cone and then finish off on that one where i go collect the ball and Here's the dribbling variation. In this case, I'm doing inside, outside with my left foot only. I cut once again, and then I carry the ball over onto the opposite corner. Then we have variation number two. So you'll see I'll sprint again to the first cone. As I approach the shuffle, I shuffle side to side, cut, and then I collect the ball. Now. As I'm approaching that cone, I make sure I remain low so I can cut safely around him, around it. And for this driven variation, I'm only dribbling through the cones with the outside of my foot. And then bringing the ball all the way back to the opposite corner. And lastly, we have the third variation. Here, we're putting two feet in, in between each cone, cutting around the corner, collecting the ball. And our dribbling variation here is going to be uh, inside, outside, with our right only. Very simple here. So I, so this driving drill I really like because it has so many different components, which is sprinting, dribbling, shuffling, which are all expected of a midfielder at the highest level.